guys. What's going on? It's Master Joe's Weekly. Whoa! Another delicious intro to Massive Joe's Weekly Word, episode 78. Nevos. Look at the fing air gun on the game, mate. Yeah, it's struggling with the heat in Adelaide today, man. It's like melting all the suavecito, and it's like all natural up in this bitch. Oh. But f look at the fade on the big hose, mate. It's not a fade, it's an undercut. You've just it's a gone, fury you, fade. It's not a fury fade. Robbie uh, came to MJHQ this week, as you can see, and tidied up everybody's fade. Neva, show them your fade. Well, I've had, Under the, fucking, the, I've had hat. the ruckus hat on every day. Yeah. But I've gone the f***ing shorter. Metro Neve's gone. Yeah. Macklin Neve's making a return. Anyway, this is what a haircut looks like viewers at home. Look it looks at like, that's look like when I It's like a cock with a toupee on I was going to say, it looks like when I shaved my ball bag. You know what? The funny thing is with the veins in my forehead right now, it actually looks like a cock with a toupee. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Topics of discussion. Neve. Topic one would be, it would look like a dick if you uh, actually weren't two days out and could actually get it up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's on my list of topics, mate. I don't know where you pulled that one from. Back in stock. Yep. New products. Yep. Coming soon. Yep. MJSC opening December 5th. Poof. Ask Neve. Yeah. Before, yeah. Uh, actually, before we get into the back in stock, listen to this, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That? You know, that's the sound of <laughs> that's the sound of me impersonating opening a can of monster because I actually got excited and opened it before weekly word started. Yep. But f how good is it? It's like what's the temperature today up in up in in, in, in Adelaide right now? Oh, f like thirty five degrees. Siri thinks it's twenty six degrees. Nah, f is Siri. Siri Siri's smoking crack or some shit. Cheers. Because it's thir it's at least thirty five, okay. which in Fahrenheit is like over a hundred. It it's hot as. And the monster's ice cold. Mm. No, it's gone from 26 to 32 since I've <sighs> changed the rooms. How good is that? It was. It's 32 degrees now, apparently. Them ice cold monsters, man. It's first topic of discussion, Nick. Okay. Back in stock. Back in stock. Let's go, baby. Uh, God, why the f is everything, man? Too many things. Too many things. Vasky. Back in the house! So MTS Basky plus all associated stacks. Yeah, so the Clash and Basky stack, the Swole stack. Vas uh, Pre. Vas Pre with a gold standard pre-workout. The, uh, the Ruxky stack with Ruckus. And the uh, Warsky stack. <laughs> you original? With War juice. Were you real f***ing original with those names? <laughs> Just adding Ski on the end of everything. But it's legit because it's called Basky. Yep. What else? Uh, MTS Way was in stock, now back out of stock. Not everything. Some of the flavours have sold out already out. since the last episode of Weekly Word. Well, we haven't even done the Weekly Word. We didn't even have it in when we did the shot last week. Well, that's right. Yeah, we skipped that Weekly Word because we were too busy sending MTS Way out. Exactly. Yeah. So we've got a few flavours left. Yeah. So by the looks of it... Chocolate, Caramel Sutra, Key Lime Pie, Key lime pie Red Velvet Cake, all the flavours that matter really. Well, mint's not. Mint's out Let's of stock. Yeah. Mint, mint is delicious, now it's gone. Yep. Anyway, uh, MTS machine fuel in all sizes and flavours. Yeah, buddy. I guess I better find them. Where the fuck have these guys put these shit? They're really shitting on your chest, aren't they? Have. I don't think there is machine fuel. Oh, there isn't. So you, Josh. You guys know what it looks like. And that's talking to both of them because they're both Josh in the warehouse now. Uh, MTS Macalution. Boom! But, oh, me. Which was out of stock for a long time. Look at the zoom and focus on the Yeah, kit. it's clean, man. It's clean. Billups <laughs> come through with the goods. He has. Mm. Which was uh, out of stock for a while, but that's now back in stock. Yep. And pre gym in all flavors. Yeah. Right there. Now back in stock. Which would be orange mango, raspberry lemonade, and cherry limeade. Yeah. Swole baits pre leg workout, uh, pre workout of choice. Yeah. Always trains on pre gym. Mm. Crazy guy. Next topic of discussion. New product. So as yeah. I said just a second ago, MTS Machine Way Key Lime Pie. Which is fucking amazing. Legit. The funny thing is, is we both tried that at uh, um, MTS HQ yep. in Ohio. Yep. And we told the guys in the team chat, this shit is amazing. Because we weren't expecting it to be good. And then they all tried it last week when it came in. And 
the heads were exploding around HQ. Well, it's not an Australian flavour. No, and people can't believe how good it tastes. The best way to describe it, because key lime, key lime pie is not an Australian, like we, we don't know what key lime pie is. The best way to describe it is like a citrus tart. Yeah. Cake, like a citrus cake with like a crusty outside and like the citrus filling up in that bitch. Yeah. So I would I would call it Australian citrus tart flavor. That's amazing. I'd call you know that. what Swalbate did with it? He told me the other night. He put some with some Greek yogurt yeah. and a couple of scoops of key lime pie, and he said it was like a, 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 a citrus cheesecake. Amazing. Swole, just mm. swole's a good thing. Oh. Um, MTF Ruckus now yeah. in stock in yeah. all, in five flavors. Amazing. MTS Clash, now oh. blue raspberry. Fruit and punch and tropical. Tropical, punch. And tropical, tropical fruit. fruit. Yep. Uh, ruckus hats. Yeah. I think you've got one well, on I've got one on my head, but I can't choose this one. <laughs> MTS Ruckus. Yeah, buddy. With the uh, M for MTS on the back. Yeah, buddy. With the ruckus. With Those the, are some clean hats. I love training. You know why I love training in these hats? Because of the mesh. Because the of the mesh. So you don't, you, the, like you sweat in them, but the sweat doesn't ruin the hat. You know when you train in hats that don't have like yeah. a breathable part and you sweat and you get like sweat marks all up the back and they f climb and you can't, you got to throw the bitch out. Doesn't happen with the ruckus hat. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Synthesix Edge. Yeah. I've. For all you long-term viewers, Barney Ong, I'm looking at you, my, my, my young I'm friend. looking at you too, Barney. Uh, uh, BSN True Mass, the original 2.6 kilogram yeah. cookies and cream flavor. Before the BSN flavor. Yeah, before they changed flavor. So the original, right. like two and a half years ago, yeah. was everyone will know it was my favorite flavor. It was, yeah. You did uh, Vanilla Gorilla Unchained, the first episode, where you, you shook a tub up and uh, drank it. What, what an idiot, I should have kept that. You know what, Dilip, cut that footage in now. As you can see, no blender ball is required. Open the lid up, drink it down. Stay massive. That is some f***ing great footage, yep. isn't it? Yeah, it's, we gotta bring back Vanilla Gorilla Unchained. That's Oscar. That was epic. That's Oscar worthy. Stay massive. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so oh, si but anyway, the Synthesis 6 Edge. Yeah. Um, the cookies and cream flavour in yeah. the Synthesis Edge is identical oh. to the True Mass original yeah. flavour system. I'm, I'm legitimately impressed with BSN. BSN haven't done anything that uh, extraordinary in quite some time. Yeah. This new Synthesis Edge... Hey, they brought out 57 different types of... Well, the thing, with, the thing with BSN, and not just BSN, but a lot of big supplement companies, is they'll, ma they'll over-promise and under-deliver. Generally speaking, they'll say this product is the most amazing for this category or it tastes this amazing and it just doesn't, it's just crap. Synthesis Edge, what BSN is saying with it is that it's the, it's the flavor of Synthesis with an improved macronutrient profile, so higher protein, lower carbs, lower fat. So it makes it a lean protein mm. powder, but still tastes like the original Synthesis. And it does. Yeah. It's really, it's incredible that they're able to do that, that, that uh, taste and the consistency it's thick using shit. such low amounts of, of carbohydrates and fat. So I gotta, man, I will stop my feet and light a match for BSM because that is some impressive shit. It's thicker than you I'm two days fan. out, mate. Yeah. Um, so run everything labs. Yep. Show the world. Yep. Dana Lynn and Rob Bailey's new supplement And while we're at company. it, also enter with purpose. So the yeah. pump and the pre-workout. Yeah, so pre-workout down the bottom, EWP. I would go so far as to say one of the strongest, strongest high stimulant pre-workouts we have seen thus far. Yeah. And show the world one of the strongest vasodilators we have seen thus you far. You said it was the best. Well, I, vaso, not for muscle pumps. For it's definitely not the best pump, but for vasodilation. Woo! Yep. Go on with your big self. Yep. Mm. Isatori, it's still your mother. Set. Yeah, raw review is raw, raw, raw. Let me just say the raw review for the Daniel and Bailey's Enter with Purpose to Show the World is already up on the YouTube channel. You must go check that out straight away. It's still your mother set. Raw reviews drops tomorrow. Mm. Mm. Uh, Pro Subs Fenny Mass. Boom. Which is a new test booster. New underdose test booster from Pro Subs. Oh, I don't give a fuck. It's true. Yeah. There's one gram of active ingredients and there's 15 ingredients. I'll Nothing's properly dosed in it. I'll be honest, I could piss in a cup and there'd be more test in there. <laughs> <laughs> right. But it's a, it's a cheap alternative. <laughs> For people that don't want to spend 100 bucks a month on a good test booster, or if you want to go balls deep and spend like 150, 160 on a properly dosed test boosting stack like a Barracuda Anabolic Triad, yeah. or Alpha Stack, you just want to spend 60 bucks, that's your ticket. 
HPNNR. Yeah, like, so this is so oh, it's not, a new formula. No, yeah. it's a new product. It's the same product, same product, but it is a new consistency. It actually mixes now. Yeah, and I actually did a follow up raw review on that this week. It's live on the YouTube channel. A follow up. I've been using it for ten months now since the start of the year, almost eleven months. And I did a follow up raw review on the effects that I've experienced throughout this cut, throughout this pre contest diet, and also show you guys a new reformulated, better mixing version of NR. Yeah. Uh, Oh, this is probably the biggest thing we've seen in a long time. Mm -hmm. They haven't quite got one, have they? Huh? They That's right there, man. Oh, really? Yeah, it's under under all the other bits and pieces. Drum roll. Boom! It's all Gen new. 3, baby! The all new Team J gym bags. Nevos, don't, come on, mate. Go balls deep. You need to show the viewers at home some of, some of, no, don't put it on your head like a dickhead. You need to show the viewers at home some of the details. So, Gen 3 TMJ gin bags, the highest quality, best designed gin bags we have done thus far, obviously being the third generation. Does it have the Joseph Mental uh, quality assured? Well, it does, and I will show you guys, there's a couple of things that we've improved being the third design. So the first thing is we've gone for a different shape. You guys will notice it's now a circular shape. Right, so it's, it's a, what do you call it? It's like a, a duffel bag with a circular shape with a new Crown Wings logo on the sides, like that. The straps, the briefcase handles go all the way around. So actually go all the way around the entire bag. So there's no possible way for the, for the briefcase handles to, to rip off. The side handles, because we have in the past had issue with people overloading the gym bags and ripping the shoulder strap right out. Well, so I've got to show you guys this. I've got to go balls deep in this. So the shoulder straps, if you guys can see, actually go all the way down the sides of the bags, on both sides, of course, and actually go up and underneath the bag. So there's no way for you to rip, unless you rip them and shoulder straps in half, mm. there is no way it's coming off. And then, the beauty is in the detail, Nevos, internal lining, TMJ, all throughout the internal lining of the bag, and the custom stay massive tag up in this bitch as well. Let's just say, Joe has gone balls deep in Mrs. Joe a few times over this bag, let's be honest. Worth the wait. And it's been one hell of a wait, but fucking worth the wait. Yep. Amazing. Uh, oh, this is another good one. I don't think it's as good, but it's good. It's still good as well, man. All kinds of TMJ apparel dropping. Team Massive Joe's performance training towels. Move it to, the, to your left. Boom. Now, the cool thing with these as well, we're not, you guys know, if you own a piece of TMJ apparel, we don't fighters when it comes to apparel. These gym towels are super cool because most gym towels you get are screen printed or embroidered. Have you tried wiping your face or your body with a screen printed gym towel and it goes all crusty and shit? Or even worse, an embroidered gym towel with all the little <laughs> stitches in it? We've gone full sublimate print on this bitch. So that's actually sublimate printed, so it's smooth. Rub it on your face. See that? Smooth. Nothing to irritate or aggravate. <laughs> Amazing. It's nice. Boom. And, ooh, this is one of Joe's favorite. Mm. TMJ socks. TMJ stride line socks, knee boss. What the fuck is that? The beauty's in the detail. Stride line is one of the world's biggest sock manufacturers. Do some of the highest quality socks we've seen thus far. Makes stance look like a joke. I don't, I don't, I'm not a sock person. And we, uh, they're, they're amazing. Your feet, you know what it's like? It's like walking on a bag of feathers. Oh, sock. <laughs> <laughs> Available in black and the white version, of course. Next topic of discussion, Nick. Coming soon. Oh. Uh, so bro jugs will be here when? December, baby. So actual TMJ branded bro jugs. Should be the first week of December. Not, just in time for summer. Not those blue motherfuckers either. Okay. <laughs> not naming any names. Yeah. You're having trouble concentrating today. No, I, think, I keep thinking of funny jokes in my head, but it's, it's going to upset people if I say it. Is it? Just say it. No, you can always bleep it. You can always cut it out. No, I was no, going to say, go I was gonna say stuff like it's going to make them jealous. Yeah, you know, no, like, you can say like, that like, shit. But, cause it, cause I don't like, know who the f you're talking about. That head. Good. That head. Moving right along. <laughs> <laughs> I have to block him on Facebook. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? Yes, of course I do. <laughs> right. Long sleeve, have we got them here? Yeah. No, that's no. Not them. They're not there. No, they're not there. So this is what happens on a f 30, 60 day where I'm sweating my balls off. You're really off. struggling today. And your f 
two days out. You're so. struggling big time. I know. I feel like I need to give you some of my carbohydrates, except I don't have any right now. So it's not going to help. I had some salt and rice cakes. Yeah. That was all right. Yeah. So um, long sleeve shirts are also coming. Yeah, they'll be here within the next couple of weeks, man. I'm going to pimp with a big 05 on the back. Oh, so pimp. Yeah. Pimp to the max. Yep. And what the, your probably favourite product at the moment, yeah. Core Heart Extreme. Core Heart Extreme drops next week, man. The uh, estrogen modulator, uh, sorry, cortisol modulator, estrogen blocker, hardening agent. It's a f***ing amazing product. Yeah. And we've specifically developed it with uh, Core Nutritional's CEO, Doug Miller, for the Australian market. But you know what's going to happen? Well, you know when drug They're going to want it back in the US, mate. I guarantee it. You it is amazing. I've been using it throughout my prep. Because Doug hooked me up with, obviously we beta tested it, he hooked me up with the beta batch back in the Gains Tour, and I think it's f***ing amazing. Let's be honest, you know when your name is Drug Miller? Yeah. If anything is hormonal, it's going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's an amazing... You guys, the raw review will drop, and... and, and Especially when Douglas is the best fake, fake natty in the world. Half natty. Fake natty. Half natty. Half natty. You know move, he's going to... Move you know, along. You know he's going to bring out some good shit. Um... Uh, how do you even pronounce that? 51, oh yeah, the 5% five, five nutrition 5150. Don't want to talk about core MRP, just go straight over that one? No, I've come back to that. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Adele! <laughs> I think Steve left his brain at home today! It's f***ing 5 o'clock, mate. I f***ing sweat my ass off. Can I get swallowing with the word, please? Alright, core... He's doing my f***ing head in! Core MRP. This guy. Call MRP. Yeah. It When's it coming? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it comes next week in five flavors. It's a cool product, man. One to one ratio of proteins and carbs. Uh, MRP, obviously, is a meal replacement powder. Peanut butter and snickerdoodle are the best. Uh, peanut butter oatmeal cookie is amazing. We were having that TMJ in the USA. Yeah. We were Damn. Having, and snickerdoodle is also very yeah. good. Move on. Uh, it's 5% nutrition, 51.50. Yeah, the super high stimulant pre-workout from Rich real, Piano. That's, is yeah, that is real nutrition. high stim. It's, 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 I'm, I'm interested to try it, but on paper, it's the highest stim we've ever seen. It's more high stim than Mr. Hyde. What about Big J? More high stim than Big J. It's ridiculous. It's got 400 milligrams of caffeine plus other stimulants on top of that. It's a it's 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 different level. Richard snore that for breakfast, though, wouldn't he? Anyway, drops in two weeks. MTS carb ten drops next week in cookies and cream and unflavored, both sizes, two and five pounds. And De Novo Nutrition Utopian should be here within the next two weeks. Should, Finally, should be round of applause for De Novo. Finally, getting their shit together. Yeah. What's Ryan Doris's um, business partner's name? Huh? What's Ryan Doris's business partner? I don't know what any of their names are, to be honest. I, was trying to I just call Ryan the Natty Pro. I was, no, I was just trying to work out where DeNovo comes from. Yeah. Next topic of discussion, Ed. Uh, MJSC opening December 5. Deets. So, Master Joe's store number 6, mm -hmm. opening Seaford Central. Yeah, buddy. Here in Adelaide, South Australia. There's all the details, Which man. is the southern store of Adelaide. Yeah. Um, opening December 5th, 10 till 4. Mm -hmm. We've got Jacos coming. Big Jake. We've got Asher coming. Asher. You and myself will be there. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Swole might not be there, it's his no, wedding Swole, anniversary. Swole Apparently will it's be his there. wedding anniversary. Swole will really be there. Dillip has to go to stereos to get his rig out. The cutting specialist will not be they there. He will not be there. He'll be giving out free cutting advice at a music festival. He will be. He'll be he'll be a few pellets. And maybe some other advice as oh, well. There'll be a few pellets down, let's be honest. <laughs> a few He will have had a few disco bickies by ten AM. Yeah. Um and yeah, plus free giveaways. Yeah. Which are? It's gonna be good, man. Spend fifty bucks, get a free shaker, spend a hundred, get a free shaker, free sample bag, spend 200 free shaker, free sample bag. One of them sick as f TMJ performance towels we just showed you guys earlier on, man. Plus every purchase, yep. you get a free body scan. Yeah, so you can go get, get, get we'll have a, a body scan set up. Yeah. And you can get a body scan there on the spot, man. Tell you your, uh, your weight, your body fat percentage, your muscle mass, the amount of water. It's pretty cool. You can get that on the way to stereos. You could actually. Yeah. So. Anyway, it's December 5. Link is in the description box with the Facebook event and the website event. You guys can get the full details there. Next topic of discussion, Nick. Ask me. All right, man. Daniel Bellamy wants to know, sup, fellas? I was wondering why whenever I drink a good BCAA, like Core ABC, throughout the day, it seems to dehydrate me and I have to drink a litre of water every time to rehydrate. 
Is it because of the high leucine content? Also, Neve, can I buy that ATP bag that your subs came in last week featured on Joe's Snapchat? Off you, name your price. Um, yeah, I guess you can have it, it's at home. Mm -hmm. um, the, it shouldn't dehydrate, it doesn't dehydrate me. I mean, there's nothing really in there that would dehydrate you, I don't believe, is there? No, nothing. I mean, there's no caffeine or something like that that might dehydrate you. And, no. I mean, Joseph and I drink BCAAs just to hydrate us. Exactly. So I'm really not it's sure. It's kind of counter counter intuitive. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Dehydrate. Yeah, I don't really know. Where, especially like intra workout. I mean, you have that to keep you hydrated intra workout. Mr. D Money's wants to know. Hey, fellas, I've just begun my cut. I was wondering what are some good ideas for a high carb cheat meal day? Thanks, guys. Stay massive. What are some ideas? Yeah. If I could eat high carb, it'd just be so many rice cakes all day. Yeah, I love flavored rice cakes. Yeah, I'm a big fan of flavored rice yeah. cakes. Plus, I'm a my, my rice, maple syrup. And just just be careful, Mr. D Money's. You've mentioned a high carb cheat meal day. You, if you're serious about a cut, you shouldn't be having a cheat day. You should be having a cheat meal, as in one meal. Yeah. yeah. Especially because you can f up a whole week's worth of work with one day of cheating yeah. easily. Especially it depends on where you're going. Like if you're having like pizza, like one meal, sushi, another meal. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that'll 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 end badly. Well, if you think about it, if you're if you're on a cut, and let's say for six days during the week, you for each day you're 500 calories in deficit, yeah. so you're 3,000 calories in deficit, and then you go and have a cheat day and eat 10,000 calories, you're gonna put on weight because over that seven day period, you're actually in caloric surplus. Yeah. So don't have a cheat day, brother. Have a cheat meal. Jake Hearn wants to know, Yo, Neve and Joe, I have a few questions, but I know Joe's strong feelings about multiple questions. See that? That's respect. Thank you, Jake. So we'll stick with one for now. How exactly does missing a meal affect me and my body on a cut versus when bulking? For example, one day where your calories are lower due to an accidental missed meal, as I'm sure this is a semi-common occurrence for many people. And if, if you're cutting, yeah. it's not gonna make too much of a difference. But, as much of a difference as if you were trying to bulk. Yeah. I mean, if you're trying to bulk, obviously, you, if you're not hitting your, or putting yourself in that calorie surplus, mm. exactly. you're gonna lose weight. Exactly, but if you're missing a meal, you're gonna be in deficit anyway, so on a cut, the only thing is if you start missing meals frequently on a cut, you're effectively, you're your you're you're well, you're changing variables too yeah. fast. Mm. You're dropping calories too fast. So then you get to the end of that week and you go, shit, I've lost a lot of weight, but you actually haven't eaten as many calories as you have planned to eat. So you kind of mess up your program a little bit. Yeah. Just don't miss meals, man. That's the best way to do it. Yeah. Lewis Hughes wants to know, Nevos, what's the go with foam rolling? Is it all that it's cracked up to be and am I missing out on something by not doing it? Yeah, I think you are. I mean, especially for your, for your, your flexibility and especially for your squatting and legs, etc. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I foam roll my quads and my ITBs because that's what kills me and that's what gets real tight. Especially sitting in my chair all day. Yeah. I mean, obviously stretch your hip flexors, but yeah, your ITB, which does cause a lot of people troubles, me included. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean that's really the only way you can get in there because you can't stretch it out. You have to really get in there nice and deep. Alex Holmes wants to know what are your opinions on carb cycling to lower body fat. Much love from England. Joe's a massive fan. I haven't tried it to be honest, but Joe, you're a big fan. Well, I'm a, I'm a big fan if it's required. Yeah. I haven't done check it. Out this the cut at check all. out the article on the Massive Joe's website. Uh, that's the best place to go. I haven't done it at all this cut because my no. carbs have never been low enough. But if your carbs get to a point where they're say under 75 grams a day, depends on your weight, but let's say for, for general purposes, let's say under 75 grams a day, then you might want to consider having a high carb day every couple of days and start carb cycling. But if you never go under 100 grams of carbs a day, it, there's no point. Yeah. There's really no reason for it. Prince Matthew wants to know, I have been trying the Ruckus and Vasky stack, but I do not get the pump you guys talk about. What am I doing wrong? What's he using? Pump, uh, Ruckus and Vasky. Ruckski. Um, I mean, you're not gonna get as much of a pump off Ruckus and Vasky as you would like something off Core Fury and Core Pump. I don't find. What's he doing wrong, man? Answer the question. I have, well, your Vasky is your glycerol, so it's not actually a pump formula like, like your Core Pump. He's not talking about Core Pump, man. He's saying, what am I doing wrong? Answer the question. What are you doing wrong? He's not having a pump formula in there. Oh, I'd say you're not eating enough carbs, brother. You can't get a pump without carbohydrates. Vasky and Ruckus should 
fuck out of you. It's nitrates plus agmatine plus cell volumizers. If you're not getting a pump of ruckus and vasky, you're just not eating enough. But I don't get enough. I don't get as much of pump of ruckus and vasky as I do of core pump and. Oh no! If you're comparing them, yeah. If you're comparing uh, the pairs, is what I'm saying. I'm just saying if you if you're used to using something like core fury and core pump, and you use vasky and ruckus, then you're not going to be getting that same pump as you normally get. Jonas LT wants to know, hey fellas, will the new TMJ training bag be possible to wear as a backpack? Cheers from Norway. You probably could. No, you couldn't. No, with the briefcase handles, if you put one arm, it depends how, how wide you are, but if you put one arm in one briefcase handle and the other arm, try it. I want to see you wear, try and wear it as a backpack. See if the f***ing dudes at school want to take turns kicking your ass. Well. <laughs> are you actually going to try it? Yeah, f*** it. I want to see this shit. This could be funny as f*** right here. Well, I have to close the f zipper. <laughs> I don't know, maybe in Norway backpacks are in fashion. In Australia, 1997 called, they want all the backpacks back. You can, look at that. You can wear it as a backpack. Show them, show them. You're out of, you're out of. You're I, out of I do realize I'm out of frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, show them. This is epic. Big knee, boss. <laughs> oh, f Spud. That is amazing. There you go, Jonas. You can wear the new TMJ training bag as a backpack. You can use it. If they've got two handles, you can use any the Poncho Gonzalez wants to know, I keep getting a stinging pain in the middle and lower part of my back when I do bent over barbell rows and it f***s with the rest of my workout. What am I doing wrong? Um, maybe your back is too rounded. Yeah, generally speaking. I would say. I mean, yeah. if, you're not, if you're not bracing your back and your core correctly, yeah. um, and you're not, yeah, then I know if you, if, if your back, yeah, if your back's definitely not rounded and not straight and secure, mm. um, then yeah, it's gonna hurt if, if your back's rounded and you're trying to roll a lot of weight. I would agree. Ben Pamplin wants to know, sup fellas, any advice on breaking a deadlift plateau uh, that always stops at my knees? So you can get it up, but can't lock it out. Anything I can include alongside rack pulls? You're the deadlift specialist. Um, I mean, not just rack pulls, but also like block pulls, so off the blocks as well. Yeah. Um, stuff like uh, using bands, I'm a big fan of using the, the bands, the power bands. Yeah. So putting them like, even like standing, oh, it's hard to explain, but putting them over the bar, so as the elastic comes off, you're putting more weight on. Yeah. So by the time you're pulling, say, let's just say for argument's sake, you're pulling 100 kilos or 220 pounds off the floor. Yeah. By the time you lock out, because of the stretch and the elastic has taken on, you might yeah. be pulling, say, 130 or 140 at the top. I would say as well, and I'm not a deadlift specialist by any stretch of the imagination, but I do see people fail at their knees a lot in the, in the, in the gym doing deadlifts. Yeah. And the one thing I notice is with all of them, the first thing that happens is their hips pop up. Yeah. And they take all of the power out of their legs and that's yeah. why they can't get it past their knees because there's not enough lower back there's, strength. There's no way to pull from. So I would just try and keep your ass to the floor and think of the deadlift as a, squ as a squat from the floor because that's effectively what it is. Mm. So but, try and I mean, brace, brace your legs, keep the power in your legs as much as possible. That's another thing. I mean, if, if, you're getting, if your hamstrings are stronger, if your glutes are stronger, if your lower back is stronger, mm. then it's going to carry over to an overall stronger deadlift. Yeah, 100%. So, so focus on, I mean, a lot of things like, you, like obviously, just going, uh, depends on how often you're trying to hit that one rep max as well. You shouldn't be trying to hit your one rep max and getting stuck at your knees every single week after week. Yeah. You should really only be testing your one RM every like 10 weeks. Yeah. So you should be actually working more towards a goal to try and get that total uh, after 10 weeks time or trying to hit your, your, I mean, when I do a plan generally, every 10 weeks I'm trying to hit my, my previous one rep max for two to three reps. Yeah. So, I mean, don't, don't be hitting it every week because you're definitely not going to be able to get past that plateau if every single week you're trying to get stuck at your knees, you're not achieving anything. Yeah. Devin Foley wants to know, been watching some old weekly word episodes and noticed that you guys don't like to call out supplement companies for bullshit claims and or bullshit products because of lawsuits. Is it common in Australia for companies to file lawsuits against people like you for speaking their minds? Uh, no, they're not. Not like in America. I mean, especially when we were talk over there in America talking to Doug, Mark, and Sean. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're Americans not. sue each other just for something, just because they're bored. Yeah. But we don't. But when Australia is very, uh, I'll, I'll say one thing: when Australia is very small, in particular. Yeah. Especially this industry is still very small. The and fitness community is very small. Yeah. If you call out one person and they cut you off, 
I mean, like, for example, with distributors, if we call out a distributor, mm. it's, it's very easy for them to cut us off mm. and then we can't get our hands on certain products. I mean, that's one thing that comes from it. But yeah, I mean... We just can't be bothered with the bullshit that yeah. comes along with it, to be honest, man. It's just not worth it. For the sake of calling out a company because they got shit products, I do it in raw reviews in an indirect way. You guys watch raw reviews, you know that if I don't like a product, I won't say positive things about it. And it's pretty obvious that I think the product's crap. But I'm not going to sit here and tell you that ProSup's Fenumass is a shit product. I'll say that it's underdosed in every ingredient that's in it. Yeah. And you can read into that as you may. Yeah. Matthew Sabron wants to know, what's up, mother... I'm 16 and I heard you guys say that teens and young adults shouldn't bulk. Instead, we should go into a slight caloric surplus and lean bulk. But at my age, wouldn't it be more beneficial to capitalize on the high testosterone because I want to take advantage of my high test? Wouldn't it be better to just bulk than cut down slightly, then bulk again and repeat? I understand how being in a caloric deficit can up your hormones when you're young, but I really want to benefit from it as much as possible. You and I have both changed our, our thoughts on this topic. Yeah. Uh, even over the, since we first met. Yeah. I don't think anybody, no matter if you're a teen or if you're bloody 60 years old, yeah. should bulk and cut. I mean, as a teen, as, as we said last week, when, when you start putting on too much body fat, your estrogen increases yeah. as well. So, I mean, yeah, you've got high testosterone, but when you're fat, yeah. your, your estrogen to testosterone ratio is going to be terrible. Yeah, I think Matt, Matthew, you, you might have misunderstood, or Matt, perhaps we didn't uh, we didn't uh, communicate our message as clearly as we could have. We're saying that there's no reason to bulk, no matter if you're a teen, an adult, whatever. There's no point to go into like a two thousand per day calorie, two thousand calorie per day surplus just for the sake of putting on weight because you're going to put on body fat. Don't worry about, that's one thing you have to learn is don't worry about a scale number. Don't worry about the scales. Worry about how you look, man. I, worry about I, your performance. Especially when I was sort of 18 or 19 or whatever, when I first started, I mean, I always wanted to be sitting at 100 kilos. Yeah. And I did whatever to be sitting at 100 kilos. I was at 20, 25% body fat. Yeah. At 100 kilos, but I probably had 75 kilos of muscle on me. Yeah. Or 80 kilos of muscle on me. Yeah. And when you cut down, I mean, yeah, I, I went from 80 kilos, maybe I ended up with an additional half a kilo of muscle yeah. or a kilo of muscle. Yeah. But the thing is I had to, took all that time eating that shit food, looked like shit because I was fat, yeah. and then took another 16 weeks of shitty dieting, cardio, busting mass to try and drop that body fat back down yeah. for an extra maybe half to a kilo of muscle. Exactly. Whereas if you put yourself in a slight calorie surplus, let's go even as much as 200 calories per day in yeah. that surplus, you're going to keep your fat gains under control. You're still giving your body those extra calories to be able to build muscle. Yeah. And, and you're not going to have to bust your ass at the end of it when you're, when you're fat and 25% or 30% body fat mm. to get down back down to your 10, 12% body fat where you want to be sitting at just to get 12% body fat all year round. Voy Voy Bot wants to know, hey brothers, curious to ask, what is a great pre-workout without agmatine sulfate? It makes my stomach bubbly, it makes me blow up in the toilet. I've tried so many pre's from C4 to Core Fury Extreme. Uh, thank you, brothers. I'd go ruckus, man. Yeah. Yeah. Ruckus is the, the hottest and newest thing that doesn't have any agmatine sulfate in there at all. Hmm. I'd be smashing the ruckus. Mega Reaps wants to know, when can I be on the same level as Barney Ong? He's called him Barnett, which is- Barnett. Great, which is also acceptable. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's years of dedication, persistence, and, 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 and blood, sweat, and tears to get on Barney's level. Mate, but Barney actually has to pass down his, 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 his crown. Yeah. I mean, he needs to pass it down. And unless he chooses, it's, like, it's like royalty. Unless a king people... wants to pass down the, the, the title of king, that mother thing king. I mean, Barney's from Melbourne, like Melbourne City. Yeah. Or suburban metro Melbourne. I mean, he came out to Ballarat just to train with you boys last week. He's a Barney, Barney came and hung out with us and came out for dinner with us after the Arnold Classic. I yeah. didn't see any of you motherfuckers out there doing mm. that. Barney's on a different level, man. Barney is, was at the gym every night with us afterwards, <laughs> flexing his cars off like oh, unbelievable. Off. Two more questions. Where's Hale? Ace up my sleeve. You know what? Jo wants to know. Jo Josh, uh, no, I won't say that because it's, it's don't worry. You're really censoring yourself today. No, because- Are you Bar feeling okay? Barney asked for a favor. Yeah. And I said, yeah, no worries, my man Barney. Yeah, and what happened? Barney, Josh shot on his chest and didn't do it for him. Josh, warehouse manager, yeah. Josh. AKA top knot, yeah, so I AKA like, so headband, bro. Yeah, so I had to fix it today for him. Really? So I apologize, Barney. Unbelievable. Your t-shirt's on the way. You mate. go out there and suck that mother 
I'm currently trying to rehab from spinal fusion surgery. What is the toughest injury you fellas have had to come back from and what was your main motivation? Uh, mine personally, I have luckily haven't had too many injuries. Yeah. I mean, not like you, but I hadn't, I've had a couple of knee ops and a couple of nose ops. Yeah. I mean, the old slight tear of the hamstring or quad. Yeah. When I've tried to run where I'm still overweight. Yeah. <laughs> remember that when we were doing sprints? Yes, yeah, I do fun. remember that. that Twice. Was, once, that was good once, times. once at Glenelg Gravel and yeah. once by Dernan Court when we're running up that Yeah, that yeah night, doing hill night, sprints. At 11 knee ops has popped the hammy. Pulled the hammy. I pulled the hammy running up that hill oh, and I pulled shit. the quad doing those hills, doing those oval sprints. Yeah. Yeah. Mine was, uh, and I still have them, uh, stress fractures on my lumbar spine. Two on the same vertebrae, L5 on S1, uh, Wes. And my motivation to come back was to, uh, to continue making gains. Motivation should be, you should just use yourself as motivation. Exactly. Last question coming from Barney Young. In the last weekly word, you mentioned an alleged 1,000 rep arm workout. Yep. And Joe recently spoke about his 600 plus rep leg workout on Periscope. Given the effect such workouts have on your central nervous system, do you guys usually train like this every week or once in a while to push your body past normal training levels? Um, you and I at Power Station hit the 600 rep leg workout with Mark. Yes. And that was, I don't know, that was 650 reps. I, yes. I honestly, the way my body is at the moment, mm. which isn't used to training like that. With that much volume. With that yeah, much especially volume. Especially on legs, man. I couldn't do that. No. Whereas Mark, Mark always tries to hit 600 reps every yeah. single exercise, every single I, workout. I'm gonna, I'm gonna disagree with something Barney has assumed. And he says that given, given the effects such workouts have on your CNS, I, personally, Barney, I find that like low rep, high weight or heavy weight workouts have a much greater effect on crushing my CNS than high volume. Yeah, you? that's true. Like when we used to do real heavy leg workouts, yeah. I used to like I wake up, if I, if I go and do a real heavy like powerlifting style mm. leg workout, I'll wake up the next day and feel like I've been hit by a bus. Like when we did Whereas that, I can do like the 600, like I did one on Friday, two weeks out from a show last Friday with Swalbait, we did a 600 rep, more than 600 rep mm. leg workout. And I woke up the next day, I felt not great, but I, I, I felt okay. When we hit that rep workout mark, I mean, my CNS felt fine. My legs felt like yeah. they'd been rolled over by a f by Mark's hammer. Yeah. Yeah. But my CNS was still fine. Yeah. yeah. So when I, it was when we used to crush. What are you f***ing out there, mate? <laughs> giggling at you, mate. <laughs> I just had flashbacks to that workout, yeah, Nebos rolling on the floor in pain. That was it was on Periscope. I should have saved that video. Yeah. I'm sure Periscope's got a copy yeah. somewhere. They'll probably hit him, up. They hit him up. But anyway, um, yeah, that, that felt like I'd been run over by Mark's Hummer. Yeah. But I mean, it didn't, doesn't f my CNS like it, like it normally would. But I don't. Mark, but then again, Mark trains like that every single every single yeah. workout. He tries to aim for five to six hundred reps, doesn't he? Yeah, and it comes down to Barney. It's each to their own, man. That's all it is. If that's the type of training that you enjoy doing and that's what gets you results, do it. If not, and you just want to use it to mix things up every now and again, do it to mix things up every now and again. You know the way I train brother is standard team massive Joe style within the hypertrophy range. Mm. I'll do the high volume stuff maybe for each muscle group, maybe once every month once every three to four weeks just to mix things up when I get bored of hypertrophy. I mean, the way Mark trains is he does a lot of, he does a lot of 10 by 10 and he does yeah. a lot of five by 20 and stuff. A lot of volume training. But he does a lot of exercise, but he's not, I don't, I reckon Mark hit maybe 500 reps a workout. Yeah, yeah. Nevos. Yeah. Do you have anything else you'd like to add before I tell the viewers to hit the subscribe button? Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of Massive Joe's Weekly Word and all the other deliciousness in our YouTube channel where we come and to and from. Neve! I did have something else I wanted to say. No, it was. I hate uh, when you do that. No, it was you your... stop me mid-outro, mother... No, was it your two days out from your show at the moment? Yeah. So, good luck. Congrats, Thanks, man. Me. But the other thing is... I appreciate that. ...is two days out. So, by the time you guys are watching this, is Friday. Mm. So, stay tuned to Joe's Snapchat and also my Snapchat mm. at Neve Movement and at Massive Joe's because I'll be at the show as well. Ooh, and I'll be trying all kinds to get, of Snapchat uh, action. A bit of Joseph action for the people. Some uh, some uh, big hose. Bit of big hose action. Bit of big hose action on this. I was going to say board shorts. Budgie smugglers. Yeah, no, but board shorts, bro. Board shorts. physique. Anyway, where are we coming to and from, Neve? MassiveJoe's.com.